Hi crafters, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Altea and this is Hooked on Yarn. For my strawberries, I will be using a 3mm hook, some worsted yarn, a stitch marker, a needle, and also a small amount of stuffing. Starting off using the red yarn, I will create a magic circle. I will go through the loop. Yarn over Yarn over with the strand coming from the ball of yarn Pull through And you have created the base for crocheting in round I will now single crochet 6 around the two strands of yarn to single crochet, pass the hook into the circle, yarn over, pull through, I will now have two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Once you have done 6 single crochets, which you can count by counting the V's that you can see, each V represents a stitch. To close my circle, I will pull the tail tight to bring the stitches closer together. Now I will start crocheting in round. I will now single crochet once into the first stitch and twice into the next, passing the hook from beneath both strands. I will repeat this three times. have single crocheted twice into the same space it is also known as an increase I will use a stitch marker to show me my first stitch I will keep single crocheting once into the first and twice into the second until I reach my marker.
To avoid grabbing the tail instead of my strand coming from the ball of yarn, I recommend that you cut it shorter. Next round I will be single crocheting once in the first two stitches and then twice into the third. Once again repeating this until my marker. For the next round, I will single crochet once in the first 3 stitches and then twice into the fourth, repeating until the end of your round. Next, I will single crochet once into the first 4 stitches and twice into the 5th. Again, repeat until your marker. For my final increasing round, I will single crochet into the first 5 stitches and twice into the 6th.
stitch. Once done, I will now single crochet once into each stitch for two rounds total. So single crochet once into each stitch until your marker. and single crochet once into each stitch once again until you reach your stitch marker. Now I will start decreasing to start closing my strawberry. I will single crochet once into the first two stitches and then make a decrease. I will be showing you how to make an invisible decrease which is the neatest decrease I ever crocheted. To decrease we will join two stitches together. This is done by passing my hook from under my first B stitch, which is known as the front loop. Then I will pass my hook from the middle of my next stitch to pass it under the second loop, known as the back loop. Then I will yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull through another two loops. And you have created your first invisible decrease. I will be repeating this until my stitch marker. For the next round I will single crochet into my first stitch and then single crochet two together to create a decrease. I will once again repeat this until my stitch marker. Now before having a smaller opening, I will start stuffing my strawberry tight to keep its shape, but not too tight that the stuffing is visible in between the stitches.
For my next round, I will be just single crocheting two together all around, making six invisible decreases. Then slip stitch and cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail to sew on the leaf to my strawberry. Now I will grab my yarn needle and some white yarn and create some seeds for the strawberry. For the top leaf of my strawberry, I will start off with a magic ring, as we did for the strawberry, and single crochet 6 into the ring. Pull the tail close. Now I will chain four. Go through my second loop from my hook and single crochet Then I will single crochet the rest of the chains as well Slip stitch into the next chain and repeat Chain 4 Second loop from the hook, single crochet into the chains. Slip stitch and repeat.
a tie and cut the extra yarn. Pass the red strawberry chain into my needle. I will pass the needle to front loop. Once I have gone around the front loop. I will put it tight and this will close as we did a magic circle. And so on my leaf. a tie and cut the extra yarn. And that's how we can create some strawberries. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I will thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Until next time, bye guys!